I have no idea if you guys can hear me or not. What up everyone, Michael B. Petty here. Um, this is gonna be a bit of a departure on my channel than usual. Um, I recently, I have a friend, um, well it's my girlfriend's friend, or my it's my friend's girlfriend, but I mean I've known her for a long time now too. Her uh, family member recently passed away, and they have a five month old baby right now, and I just feel like I needed to do something to like help them, or like, I don't know, and um, I don't have like much to give, I guess, but, um, there's one thing that like my family I guess is always and I, and I know this is like pretty popular in, like a lot of different cultures or whatever but um, one thing that you do is you bring over food and I'm not the best cook per se but I do make like a couple of things pretty well I can make pancakes I can make oh I can make these things called sausage cheddar biscuits and I can make jambalaya like th those are like the three things that I'm like really good at oh and I can make a really good like bals balsamic vinaigrette like sauce or whatever that's like super easy you can make a sauce whatever that's that's straight away from the point anyway so I wanted to make go ahead and make them jambalaya um this I am by no this is by no means an authentic recipe um this is just something that I've known how to make for a long time because it's essentially just like a really big stew with everything in it So it's not that hard to make so if there's like a more authentic way of making this and th so be it I just don't know about it. This is the way that I've been taught how to make it my whole life or whatever So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and go in here go grocery shopping pick up everything that I need This is so awkward filming right now, especially on my phone I didn't bring my camera the vlogging in public is like not my forte so I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and get the stuff that I need. I'm gonna go home, cook it, and I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Alright, so I'm home now. Um, I already have some of the stuff here, like I have like the minced garlic and rice. So I need to cook, uh, you need to cook like three cups, you need to have three cups of cooked rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm also gonna go ahead and just, I don't, my least favorite part of cooking is actually the cooking part. But the way I cook is I usually just take everything out, I chop it all up and put it into like bowls so it's already done. So that way when I'm cooking, I just have to grab it, put it in, I don't have to like do it as I'm cooking. Because the cooking part is stressful for me. I don't know why. The chopping part, I love. Cooking part, not so much. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to show you the way that I put it, in, put everything together. Heat up some oil in the pot. Now we're going to add the chicken thighs I cut up ready. That was gross. Alright, so in here I have cut up boneless chicken thigh. You can use chicken breast, but I don't, I think dark meat's better for stews, personally. The chicken breast doesn't really like, it's not tender enough, I don't know. I like it more with the chicken thighs, so I use chicken thighs. But in here I just have some oil, the cut up chicken thighs, um, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, a teaspoon of um, paprika, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt, and it's very say garlic powder, I don't know, but anyway. So I'm just gonna cook this for like five minutes and just get it all nice and going. Um, the good thing about this recipe is that you're gonna do everything in one pot. Well, other than the rice. You have to cook the rice by itself in another pot. But um, yeah, it's just one big giant stew, so you just put everything in one pot. <clears throat> so after around five minutes of cooking the chicken, you're gonna wanna add cut up andouille sausage. The andouille sausage is like, kind of really important. It gives the most, it gives that really like good earthy flavor and then the fat from the sausage really helps a lot. But the sausage only takes around five minutes to cook. The chicken will take like eight minutes to cook, depending on how high the heat is. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish cooking this uh, for about five more minutes and then I'm gonna remove all of the meat from the pan. And then I'm gonna add some more oil and then I'm gonna start cooking the vegetables. <clears throat> So I removed all the chicken and sausage, so now I'm going to start adding the vegetables. Two sauce of celery, chopped up. Um, one chopped up green bell pepper. <clears throat> one chopped up bell red bell pepper. One chopped up onion. One diced jalapeno. And one teaspoon of minced garlic. A little salt. See, this is why you have to use a, a pretty big pot because they're still going to be adding more stuff to this. Really, um, 
the stars of this dish are the like andouille sausage and then the celery and the onion. I don't know, celery and onion together is so good. I don't know why, but it makes like every, you can put like that in any stew and it'll be bomb. So yeah, we're gonna cook this for 10 minutes until the vegetables are fully cooked. It's gonna get all the seasoning, seasonings from the, um, from the chicken and um, sausage that we cooked in the pan earlier. So it's pretty nice. Now that the veggies have cooked for long enough, I'm going to add two cups of crushed tomato. Two and a half cups of chicken stock. Then we're going to add the rice. And I'm also going to add the chicken and sausage back in. Stir that up. Now I'm going to bring this to a simmer and just let it cook for 10 minutes before I add the last ingredient. All right, this is what it looks like now. Now I have to add the shrimp. Shrimp takes like five minutes to cook. That's why it's last. Just mix it in. Just gonna let it simmer for five more minutes. All right, this should be done. Now you can see the shrimp are like nice and pink and white, they're fully cooked. This says, this usually, it says, you can cook, it says for four, but honestly it's a lot. And what you're gonna wanna do is take it off the heat for a while and just let it cool off. <clears throat> you don't wanna eat it right away, you wanna give it time to like cool down and not be so liquidy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really good for leftovers. That's why I like it the most. It keeps really well. Well, I'm sitting here editing and I totally forgot to film an outro. I'm usually, I'm not good at this stuff, so, but maybe if I do more of them, I'll get better at it. But um, that's pretty much my jambalaya recipe. I don't know how authentic it is. I learned how to make that when I was like 12 years old. Um, and it's just the one of the recipes that has stuck with me for a really long time. I don't know why. It's one of my favorite things to eat. I'll eat it anytime, anywhere. I love spicy things. I love chicken. I love shrimp. I love rice. I love, I like that. So it's just, that's right up my alley. It's super easy to make. It's like I said, it's all one pot. If you just go and get the fresh ingredients and you go and get fresh shrimp and you get some decent chicken thighs, uh, chicken thigh and you get that sausage, you're pretty much good to go. You actually don't even really need all that seasoning. If you just cook the andouille sausage enough to get a lot of that fat from the um, the spices and stuff from that sausage into the pan. That's usually enough, but I like to kick it up a notch. I actually, I like to, um, I like it to be spicy. So that's why I put the jalapeno and I put more cayenne pepper, more Cajun seasoning, all that stuff, because I want it to like really come together and get like all those different flavors. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. <laughs> this is so awkward. I'm like filming this on my phone. I usually don't use my phone either. But um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Also, follow me on Twitch TV. I've been streaming a lot over there and I'm really enjoying it. www.twitch.tv slash Black Plague, B-L-A-Q-U-E-P-L-A-G-U-E. Um, and until next time, toodles.